Hello everyone. Welcome to the session. Uh, we are streaming it live on YouTube as well. And I'm also Visa be trying to check whether the session has gone live successfully or not. So uh, this is a quick orientation session on data science and data analytics internship. Okay, and um, not really sure, but I would once again double confirm whether we have gone live or not. And um, yeah, I think we are live. So, friends, this session is primarily to help you all understand on how to get into this field of data analytics or data science. Right? That's the prime focus. So let me share my screen and quickly help you all understand. And um, I'll also quickly introduce myself. Here we go. This is me. I will save you full profile. I am CEO and founder of 360 Digit MG and also AI Sprite. These are the two companies. One is in the space of edtech, where we deliver trainings. Another is in the space of AI services, where we do projects for different customers across the globe. Okay. And uh, I have 19 plus years of experience. I worked with uh, HSBC, ITC Infotech, Infosys, and Deloitte. I am an alumnus of Indian School of Business and IIT. That's in short about my boring profile. So, friends, in order to get into this field of data science or data analytics, there are a couple of things that I want to explain. Okay. Number one, <clears throat> a lot of people are getting trained on data science or data analytics. Okay. Say you are also getting trained. That's fine. Getting trained is the bare minimum that you need to do. That's the first step. Then you need to work on real world projects. That's the key. If you're going to work on dummy projects, which are there on Kaggle or GitHub, etc., the only thing that will happen is you'll not get a job. Because when you work on real world projects, you experience the entire project life cycle. And the entire project life cycle is, how do you understand the business problem? How do you go and collect the data? Where do you actually end up storing that data? Then comes the other activities such as performing exploratory data analysis, then uh, doing the pre-processing, model building, so on and so forth, evaluation. And one more very important thing that you would not be able to experience when you work as, uh, I mean, when you work on dummy projects, is you would not be able to experience the deployment part. Deployment part is extremely important. And then when you hand over the project to the customer, you also need to document the monitoring and maintenance aspects, monitoring and maintenance of the model. If you're going to miss out on all these aspects, what would you mention on your resume? I mean, for your resume to get shortlisted, you have to mention all these details. Okay, number one. Number two, <clears throat> you also need to have experience of deployment on-premise and on-cloud. You need to understand what is a project management methodology. When you work on projects daily, there will be meetings with your project team members. That's yeah. usually if you follow a methodology called as Agile, you'll have daily stand-up meetings. Now, if you work on these dummy projects, how would you experience that? You'd not experience that. And when you work on real world projects, you'll also have to face the customer. There'll be customer meetings. How would you attend those? You'd not be in a position to experience even that. And yet, you are looking out for a job. Who would give you a job? Tell me. Yet, you're looking out for a job. No one would give you a job, right? And <clears throat> When you do a project with us, the benefit is that the top three students, their project details will also get published on international journal. <clears throat> so your resume will now stand out, right? 
your resume has real world project details you know how the meetings happen the project meetings happen how the client meeting happens how do you deploy the model and your project is also published on international journal <clears throat> when you have all those bunch of benefits your resume will get shortlisted someone is trained by some training institute who don't even have real world project experience who don't have projects at all to give you exposure if you go and get trained through them be certain that you'll not get a job you'll not have that experience of handling the projects end to end okay so first step is to get your resume shortlisted after your resume gets shortlisted they'll call you for interview and they'll ask you questions even if you falsify even if you provide say this guy who got trained with some training institute who doesn't have real world projects who will not give you all this experience who will not allow you to who will not guide you and facilitate to get your project published on international journal say you got trained through such a low quality training institute say you faked you put all the fake details your resume will get shortlisted but who will clear interview followed by resume shortlisting you have to clear the interview right how will you clear the interview you will not be in a position to clear interview because you are someone who put fake experience someone who works on real world projects someone who attends the daily stand up meeting someone who has deployed the project on cloud someone who is attending the client meetings who understands how the meetings happen someone who got the project published on international journal will they be able to attend the interview with confidence yes okay here again <clears throat> even if you don't have a job if you can tell to the interviewer that i don't have a job but i'm not sitting idle at home i'm not sitting idle i'm at least doing some internship okay i am doing some internship opportunity was given to us by an, an ai services company called ai spry and we are now you know uh, working as an intern i am now working as an intern in this company that would give more confidence so all i want to tell you guys is that if you want to crack a job number 1 you need to ensure that your resume gets shortlisted okay resume should get shortlisted number 2 you you need to have the real world experience to talk in interviews explain about the real world projects these are the things that i would strongly recommend you guys it will start tomorrow tomorrow again there will be a session please attend that see when will internship start and all that would happen anyways right but you should be <clears throat> clear with what you want to achieve if you want to get a job it's not walk in the park <clears throat> okay it's not do it all walk in the park friends you will not just like that get a job magically okay and one more uh, good thing that i want to communicate with you guys is that we have something called as learning resources and within learning resources we have within career advancement and professional growth polish your resume resume optimization hub you have to upload your resume <clears throat> i i'll just take some resume okay i i don't really want to you know take my resume i'll i'll take some resume which is available with me and uh, let me put that resume uh, 
man. Come on. All my files I'm trying to export. The right file I'm unable to get it. It's a word document, I believe. Must be somewhere there. Let's see if I can get hold of that resume. Come on, don't I have a basic resume? Hmm. Must be somewhere. Okay. I'm just uploading some resume. Say there is a job description. I'll go to Nautri. While uh, searching for data analytics job, say I found a job like this. Then I have the roles and responsibilities. Let me copy those and put it here. Then I'll say compare now. The moment you say compare now, some processing happens and it's going to now do a comparison. It will take some time and it will show you what is a percentage match. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I think some software is getting updated behind the scenes. Uh, probably you can test tomorrow. It will show you percentage match and what keywords are missing. This is how you can figure out whether your resume is apt for that job description or not. These are the kind of projects which our students work. Alongside working for different other companies, they do this. Okay. So all the very best for your internship. Just remember two things. Work on real world projects. Okay. And ensure that in interviews, you convince the interviewer that you're not sitting idle at home. Okay, you're doing some internship. It can be free internship, paid internship, doesn't matter. Okay.